Welcome, friends. Hi. I'm a YouTube superstar. Leading you through some notes today. Okay, remember, in class, yesterday before our quiz, we did this piece of paper. Right? Elements, compounds. We'll do a little review. On the back side, it said mixtures. And I wrote, I had you write keep. That's what we're going to use today uh, as we go through this. Um, follow along with me. This is just kind of a notes video. Um, this is something that I don't know you might be familiar with from um, previous years of school due to some uh, global challenges. Um, but uh, this is something that we've done before in here. Uh, if I make annotations, please annotate with me. We're just talking about mixtures, and mixtures are quite simple. It's our last piece of uh, the puzzle here for all matter. We've been talking about compounds and molecules. Let's get into it. What is a mixture? A mixture is just a physical combination, putting two things together. Remember yesterday, I played with some salt water, okay? And I was able to break up the compounds with uh, electrolysis is what that was called. But salt and water, I mixed those two together. They are physical mixtures. So I have a definition right here. It says a physical combination of two or more substances that mix but remain as individual substances. It would be a good idea to write that definition down right at the top of your paper. Remember, you can always pause me uh, and, and write that down. But I would write this down. Um, so that is a mixture. It's physically mixed as opposed to a compound which is chemically stuck. That's how I would teach that. Um, if I was in the room right now. And we have two types of mixtures. And I think mixtures are super easy, which is why we're doing this via video. Um, and I could teach it to you really quick. We have two types. The first one is called heterogeneous. Uh, a heterogeneous is when it looks like different things. So you'll notice that if it's in red, we'd write it down in our paper. So all components of the mixture are visible. And just to kind of model what we're doing, it's in red. So I let's see if you can see that. I wrote it down on my paper. Uh, again, you can pause me if necessary. So components do not mix together. You can clearly see that they're different things. I got a picture of this lovely chicken noodle soup up there. That would be a heterogeneous mixture. Right now, you're in a group of students. That's a heterogeneous mixture. Not everyone looks the same. So we certainly have a heterogeneous mixture in the room. And then, of course, we have examples like sand and water and oil and water. The second type of mixture is a homogeneous mixture, which means it looks the same. I went too fast there, but bear with me. So all components of the mixture appear like one thing. Particles are evenly distributed. I feel like I'm always thinking about food when it comes to mixtures. So like a heterogeneous mixture, it looks different. So I'm thinking like salad or like a Chipotle burrito. You can clearly tell it's a whole bunch of different things. Now, a homogeneous mixture looks like one thing. I always think of chocolate milk, right? I'm sitting there, okay? It looks like one chocolatey, good, chocolatey goodness. Uh, it's one thing. So that would be a homogeneous mixture. So examples are like air, salt water, 10 karat gold, that ring, apple juice. They look like one thing. Talking about air, it's weird to think about. How could air be a mixture. Well, air is not on the periodic table and it's made out of oxygen and nitrogen and carbon dioxide and some other gases. So when we have O2, N2, and CO2 all mixed together and look around, it looks like one thing. So we would say that air is a homogeneous mixture. So let's have a little bit of practice there. If you notice down at the bottom, there's A through H available. To the right, the bottom right of my paper, there are cheat definitions. I'm putting stars next to it right now. I think my cheat definitions are really easy. Heck, I'm drawing a bubble around it. Look at this thing. I might highlight it. I might put exclamation points. Okay, let's see. You can see it. Um, because my cheat definitions, to me, they make the most sense. A homogeneous mixture looks like one thing. A heterogeneous mixture, you can clearly tell that it's two or more substances together. Try A through H on your own. Oh, yeah, I don't like Mountain Dew. We'll check the answers here shortly. Pause me. Do A through H. Pause right now. Do A through H. Pause the video. Oh, yeah. Shout out. I have my microphone. Shout out to my sister. Got for, Santa got it for me. Well, she got it for me for Christmas. Do A through H. Pause me now. You paused and didn't just go right over, right, and then write down the answers. Thanks. So here are the answers. Mountain Dew, Orange Jello. Laundry detergent, Gatorade, they all look like one thing. So they're homogenous. But like Fruit Loops, yummy. 
pizza, burrito, Italian dressing. Those all look like two or more different things. Therefore, they would be hetero, or therefore, they would be heterogeneous mixtures. Here's what we're going to do now. You're done with your notes. Okay, that was very easy. You watched this video. Thank you. Now, you have enough information for the rest of the unit, meaning you're ready to take a test on it. We'll prepare. Your test will be on Wednesday. You have a couple options now and see the uh, Schoology folder. You can work on the review. Okay, it is called due second in um, Schoology. You can also work on your study guide. Some of you got this study guide, so we're going to be working kind of in different order. Um, depending on what core you're in, that's fine. If you need the study guide, go see the substitute. Um, you have now enough information to work on all of that. After, for some reason, if you've finished everything, you can finish the periodic word search, word search, periodic scavenger hunt that we did in class yesterday. Guys, be great people. Be great for the sub. I don't mind if you stay plugged in, listening to music for the rest of class. Um, you will need headphones for the second portion of this. See the sub for the um, study guide. If you were not here yesterday, make sure you saw the sub earlier for this. Thank you. See you Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.